Welcome everybody, today we will see how to code the snake, the popular game in 10 minutes on MATLAB App Designer. So let's start. We start up MATLAB App Designer. As you can see, it shows us some uh, templates. We select blank app. So our snake will be very simple. There will be simply a plot of a snake and food. So a grid of points where we can find our snake that will move around and the food that we want to collect. And after that, a button that simply start uh, the game. Okay, so um, of course uh, we will do the design part uh, after afterwards. Now let's code the uh, actual uh, structure of our uh, application. So we have to insert a new callback when we push the button. So button push that is the, our uh, callback and we simply add it. Now, as you can see, this code with the gray background is automatically generated, whereas the white background is the one that we can modify. So let's start defining the dimension of the grid that we want to use. Of course, these parameters are not uh, completely random. Uh, I have uh, tried it, them uh, before. Now, app.score is uh, a global variable that uh, takes into account the score and the length of our snake. App.dir actually takes into account the direction of our snake. Let's define them um, in the properties. How I can add a um, global variable? I can simply add a property, private property. And here I can put my variable. So for example, dir equal to zero. Dir equal to zero is the left direction, one is up direction, two right, and three the down direction. And the score, let's start from zero, that is the score of our snake. We want to change this direction using the key arrows on our keyboard. We will see how to perform this task. Here I put simply a clear of my graph. So app.ui axis, perfect. And now we can start the other part of the coding. We define the speed, for example, 0, 0 0.9. Now we will define a vector of two position, that is the food, F for food, a food that start from 0, 0. Here we will define randomly where the food is in a solid rate. So F1, for example, is the round of a random number taken in random, uh, sorry, rand multiplied by the dimension of our grid, because uh, as you know, random is uh, between uh, 0 and 1, we want it to be in our uh, complete grid defined by the dimension. Same thing for the y direction of uh, our, the y position of our food. After that, we define our snake. Snake is uh, simply a vector of elements. I initialized them into zero elements, so like this, a vector of uh, two column, uh, x and y position for all of the uh, parts that compose our snake. We will uh, uh, continue increment their uh, its, its length, adding elements one above the other. So let's, uh, for example, start um, uh, initializing the first part, the head of our of our. Um, of our snake, okay, as you can see here, same thing for the y, so the second part, and we want to initialize also the second element of our snake, in order to have the starting point a little bit more length longer than only a single point, because otherwise it is difficult to see on the grid, for example, 6. Okay. Now we have to plot these uh, two elements, so the snake and the food, on the axis that we have created one moment ago. So the plotting part is very easy. We start uh, defining the snake plot. Okay, like this. We want to plot this on app.ui axis. Perfect. And we want to plot as snake the first position, the first two positions, so one and two. Um, X, that is the, the first column. Same thing for the Y column, so first the two rows, one and two, and the second column, like this. Perfect. Now I define some, um, character, uh, some characterization of my plot, for example, I want to define the marker, and we define as a lot, perfect. The marker size, sorry, perfect, the marker size is 20, uh, the line style, classic line style, line width, 
of course this personalization could be done as you want as you prefer is only my um, my version this one and here i put the green uh, with the crash code Okay, I have defined my uh, plotting of snake. Now I have to define the old option because I want to plot also the food on the same plot. I define simply old property of app.ui axis, that is my plot. I define the property on. Perfect. Same thing for the food. Food. Okay, simply copy and plot. Perfect. Plot app.ui axis. Now I am using F11 F12 The marker is the same, marker size we put it a little bit bigger Marker face color okay. Marker face color we put it red And that's all now we define the limits of the axis. So it's lim up dot ui axis and we define them as 0, 20. Paintings for my up dot y lim, so up dot ui axis y. Now the key point is the while cycle that will perform the movement of my snake. I simply put while one because uh, it will stop with a break. Uh, in this case, uh, I have uh, an auxiliary variable that I show you. I will show you why to use it. S old will be equal to S. So I assign to S old the previous iteration of S. Now I want to first of all update the head position. So if up dot direction is zero. I simply, if this is zero, I'm going in the left part. So I update my head direction. We putting in the new S the value of S old minus one, and the Y part of my snake will take the same value as before because we are we are moving in horizontal direction. So I can do this for all of the position. Okay, so I have uh, finished writing all of the direction. Now I have to update the body position. Update the body position means that we, with a four cycle, a simple four cycle that goes from the second point to the second position of our body, that the, uh, I mind you is S2 till the length of the non-zero element of S all, right, all of the lines first column okay this force I simply update all of the components of my S to the new one okay I take these values from S old S old I minus one so uh, here I am writing the code that make the snake moving uh, with its head so also the position. Okay. Now we have to define the limit area of our um, of our uh, path because otherwise, when we hit the uh, wall at the end of the limit, we are not uh, stopping. So define the limit. So I've defined the limit area that are uh, what happen if I touch the wall. Same thing, very uh, very similar. Uh, I define now what happen if I touch my uh, same body. So if the head hit uh, the body of the snake. Okay, so now we have to write down the eating procedure. That is the procedure where we add, when we encounter with the head of the snake, the food, uh, we add uh, one piece at our snake and we continue generating another piece of food. Okay, as you can see, um, I, have, uh, um, I have written that uh, if uh, I'm uh, in the case where my uh, head is, is uh, equal in the same position than the food, I update my snake, I uh, create a new food uh, randomly in the grid, I update my uh, score, and uh, finally 
I decrease uh, my V that uh, is the delay between one iteration and the other one. Okay. Finally, we must uh, plot uh, the new snake. Okay, so what I've done, I uh, set the new x data in zero data of the snake, that was my plotting of the snake, to the new values, and same for the put. Perfect. So now uh, we dispose, I simply let the um, plotting um, be uh, viewable, because otherwise uh, the game is too much, uh, too, too fast. Uh, for this reason, V was uh, decreased at each iteration in order to uh, speed up uh, the speed of my of my snake. Okay, now, uh, other point is that um, we want to use the key, the arrow on our keyboard to move the snake. How can, can we do this? We can add a pullback, simply select the UI figure and Windows, K press function. We add the callback and here, as you can see, I assign to key uh, the uh, event uh, dot key pressing and now I simply compare my key with the different uh, function and change the direction. Okay, so I compare my key pressing with the four different cases and I update the direction. Perfect. So now we can do a little design. So As you have seen, I have updated my, uh, my grid, I have removed uh, all of the uh, numbers on my plot because I actually don't need, do not need it, added a title and uh, a new field that is score, I want to see the, the score in this, uh, in this field. What I can do is uh, uh, returning in my code, here in plotting, I can simply write app.scorefield, scoreeditfield.value, equal, integer, string of my app dot score and that's all so now let's try our code let's see if it is working okay i can simply hit run i can press start as i can see i have my snake uh, i am uh, moving it with my arrows okay let's try to eat uh, one food okay perfect so now it is uh, it is uh, grown, uh, grown up and uh, I can go go around. As you can see, the score is updating one and two, and that's all. So that's all for today. I hope that uh, you enjoyed this uh, this code. You will see uh, this code, uh, complete code, uh, in the description of this video. And if uh, you have any question, I'm here for you. And uh, have a nice day. Thank you.